everyone, and welcome to episode number one of my new Minecraft modded series. I've been wanting to do this for a while, um, but the thing is, I'm with my recording program and the mods, it's kind of hard on my computer, so if there are any crashes or lack of frame rate, just keep that in mind. I'm sorry about that, but so we're on the title screen today, but let's have a look at the mods. Oh, before we mention it, we are in Minecraft 1.7.10, as you can see in the bottom left of the screen. Uh, just because that's where most of the, that's where a lot of mods are created. But in this mod pack that I made myself, we have chance cues, um, the chest transporter, the code chicken core, enchanting plus, ender io, ender io add-ons, ender core, extra utilities, for, uh, forge mod loader, uh, I don't know what that is, gravestone, i shun, util, inventory pets, iron chest, journey map, mantle, minecraft coder pack, uh, Minecraft Forge, Not Enough Items, Pam's Harvest Crafts, The Portal Guns Mod, and Tinker's Construct. Now, originally, let's just hop on, uh, this is my original Let's Play that I did some testing on, but it's not my Let's Play anymore. Uh, this was my old testing world. Um, originally in this mod pack, let's create a new world, and let's name it Modded. Let's play originally in this mod pack i had um let's just type in a bunch of random numbers for the seed and let's generate a new world originally in this mod pack i had um biomes no plenty in it but then i thought combined with recording uh recording the series biomes no plenty is going to make recording the series near impossible just because First of all, there are loads of mods, and then Biomes of Plenty adds, or can add, super huge trees. Oh, look, there's a chance cube. Oh, yeah, let's do it. It's kind of like a lucky block, except there's more bad than good, I'm pretty sure. Or, I don't know, I haven't really exper experimented with the chance cubes. But in terms of this mod pack, you see, I'm getting very low frame rates right now. Especially because it's loading in, but... So, if I break this, what's gonna, what am I going to get? And it's probably not helping anything that I'm opening a chance cube. Did I get anything? Oh dear, this is very, very laggy. It's extremely laggy. I'm probably just gonna let this load in. This may not be such a good idea. But, ooh! I got a useless generator. Uh. Okay, I'll take it. Um, but I'm going to. Oh! Oh, there's a jungle nearby. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's why I'm getting so low frame rates. Oh, n oh no, there's a jungle everywhere. That's bad. If you didn't know, jung a jungle biome is like the laggiest biome in Minecraft. And I'm freezing. I need to get away from this jungle biome. But I'm probably going to cut ahead into the video till I have a few... Why are there wave points? Why are there late wave points? It says death. I haven't even logged on to this world. Why are there death wave points? Ooh, ooh, inventory pets chest. Oh, th so basically, okay, in the inventory pets mod, it adds like these little chests, and I got a jukebox pet. Oh, and also gives me melons. Ooh, yes, melons. Oh, my first inventory pet. Yay! But there's loads of like helpful inventory pets. There's like a super rare one called the cloud pet that can make you fly and all sorts of stuff. And oh, uh, and this isn't a. Oh, this is like a mega tiger. That this isn't a very oh wolves. The reading sheet. This isn't a very good biome to be in. I'll try to find a. I'll come back. Um, I'm gonna just set up a little base and get some wood and basic resources. But I'm going to find a little area that isn't laggy. So I'll be back with you in just one sec. Little update. Um, you might notice that uh, the game is running a bit smoother. I just, I found this area over here, not, it's not too laggy, it's just a nice little woods, carved out this area, which is going to be my new base, it doesn't look so good right now, but, um, it's going to look better, so, in between the clips, I downloaded Optifying, which I was using, uh, Curse to download the, all of these mods, and so I had to go through an extra process to get, uh, Optifying loaded, but, ooh, 
Wait. Okay, so I want to I want to be able to zoom. Where options? You can tell because there's all of these options right here. Um, it would be in controls, jump night vision. Okay, speed step. No, 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 no. Uh, I'll change that to elk to K. No, I'll change that to K. Because I normally have my thing, my zoom set to Q. That's for the mini map, that zoom in, zoom out. Um, zoom, here we go. Q. There we go. So, if I, yeah, you see, I'm hitting the arrow, and if you look at my mini map, it's changing. That's what the, the zero is for. But if I hit Q, we can zoom in again. Also, I don't know my texture pack just because I only have it for the 1.12 version. Uh, and my skin, for some reason, in this version of Minecraft does not want to, um, just doesn't want to load properly. I also made this crafting station by crafting a crafting table and then turning it into a, oops, that was a bad idea, and then turning it into a workbench, then turning it into this. Uh, but I'm probably going to just, probably going to kill some sheep. And apparently... With the, with like one of the, I think I had like Pam's Harvest mod, Harvest Craft mod installed or something along those lines. Apparently, it makes it so that sheep drop raw mutton. Cause I believe, I believe that feature was added in 1.8 and we are in 1.7.10. And I got that from a sheep. I know it's disgusting. Oh, that is so gross. It gives me the chills. But I wanted to review what we could. Build okay. Any sheep? Sheepy sheepies. Oh, chance cube. It's gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Oh, XP. I haven't gotten one bad chance cube yet. I don't know what all these death points are about. Death. Like those are the death points from when I was playing in my other worlds, but this wasn't the same worlds. I don't know. That's weird. What it, wait, what if this is the same world? <laughs> that that would be really real. That would be cool, but creepy at the same time. Uh, so we should probably just get setting up for the night, so. Uh, I wanted to... Okay, it's gonna get really dark for a second. Uh, to burn that, there we go. I wanted to discuss some of the things that we could craft here. So, if you look on to the right, there is a whole selection of every single item in the game and lag lag you see the lag is getting much better although whenever i go through this it's kind of laggy so all of this stuff right here is the ender.io mod that i i messed with it and so basically i think we're going to get into this uh the first thing so the ba the two main necessities you really need or the three thing or the two main things you need for the mod is the alloy smelter and the sag mill. I like to I like to just say alloy smelter like hello. Alloy smelter. Oh dear. This went out. And uh there we go. I guess I could turn some of you into torches. And there we go. So we're probably going to get it into that mod and or probably next episode in this episode we're probably going to sp focus more on decorating actually we might actually we're probably going to start that mod uh i did uh i did ma manage to discover this dark steel armor when i was testing it out before and basically how this works i'm probably going to have it again is um when it's not powered it's is the equivalent to iron armor when it's powered it's equivalent to diamond armor and you can upgrade it so that it's like it's a several times as better as diamond and it has like special abilities and stuff but to craft it if i can show you and frame rate there we go so you need dark steel to make dark steel oops, to make dark steel you need an alloy smelter you need iron coal dust and obsidian to make coal dust you need to put uh you need to put coal into a sag mill
with, with the, right now what it seems is it's either very smooth or just a very sudden drop so i apologize and then to make a set i'm just going through this by the way i won't go through this again to make a sag mill this is how you make a sag mill and then to make an alloy smelter if it'll load load please it's just like these sudden flag and it's just frozen okay so if i do that it's just this and to power them we're going to be using uh isn't it a combustion no 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 no. what is it called i think i know what we're going to be using sterling generator which is basically basically it takes coal and then it puts and then it produces power and once we have some power going probably going to start making some solar panels but a big thing in the ender io mod is well endermen for ender pearls because you need uh let me see here you need ender pearls in order to make vibrant alloy which is the big thing and with it you can make fluid conduits the best energy conduits you can make an advanced uh cell and then you can make like vibrant capacitor banks you also need it to make vibrant crystals be used for also again a vibrant capacitor bank it can be used for all sorts of stuff it's used for that thing again and then that wait it's used for the 25 rf one and then 25 and um basically these things are huge as well they're basically just big energy storage systems so i just thought i would share that with you um, I thought this mod was confusing, but I was playing it, but, well, once you get used to it, it's actually quite fun, and once you start understanding, did I just use all my wood to smelt? Well, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna just go mining, get some resources, gather up some wood, probably, and I'm going to decorate this place and make it, like, a nice home, or at least try to, and I will also, um, I will also try to make some basic uh sterling generators along with alloy uh an alloy smelter and a sag mill so i'll be back in just one second okay everyone so it has actually been quite a while as you can see i just went mining um i just got finished got quite a bit of iron got some gold some redstone a few diamonds some coal and most importantly i got some copper i found one patch of it for some reason if you're just strip if you're just strip mining copper is extremely rare like if you go into a cave you can find an abundance of it but if you just strip mine which is what i did it's really really rare thankfully i got a i got a lot of copper ore berry bushes which naturally generate uh copper ore berries where are the copper ore berries thought i picked them up but you can actually smelt those into uh, copper nuggets. And there we go. And in terms of food, I found myself running quite low on food quite regularly. Let me put this ocelot pet away. Uh, but basically, I got the ocelot pet, and um, it will fish for you. So what I did is I went in here, it fished for me. Then I smelted the fish, and actually eats cooked fish. So, I just put some cooked fish in my inventory, went AFK, and it just got me a load of fish, and I kept coming back and smelting it. So now I have 55 fish, and the ocelot pet is willing to fish me some more. But, I want to start getting, I want to start getting some basic ender dot, ender IO. I keep wanting to, is it ender IO or ender dot IO? I have no idea, but I keep wanting to say ender dot IO. I'm just going to say Ender IO. So let's smelt that. We want to preserve as few or we want to use as few ores as possible because with some of the machines you can actually duplicate ores. Okay, so I was looking up inventory pets earlier. So if we scroll down here, there are three machines we need to make. And we need to make a sterling generator, which is okay, so we need to that's not too difficult at all. We need to put uh, just a tad bit of cobblestone on the smelt. Sorry, but you're going to have to wait. So we need a piston. Okay, so let's get some wood. 
have cobblestone, and then we're going to need some redstone, okay. So it said we were going to need a piston, and we can craft a piston, like so. I wish I had, like, the automatic craft thing. Then we need basic gears, which I, if I can remember, I played this, I d was testing this, and if I can remember, basic gears are very basic. Well, that's the whole point. I believe they're just like this. There we go. Need two of those. And then. Okay, and then I need a furnace and a five stone bricks. If I'm. Oops, I already had a furnace. I need that, that, and then I need the stone bricks. So I need eight. Need eight smooth stone. No. Okay, is that right? Yeah, that's pretty much right. Uh, come on, three more stone. Three more stone. So we can look up, we can look up the other recipes while we're waiting on it. So, the alloy smelter is three furnaces, a machine chassis, which I remember how to make, I think. Then some simple little iron things like that. Okay, stone. So it's not too resource heavy. These basically three machines aren't too resource heavy. So there we go. Then we can turn these into stone bricks. And if we spread them out, we have a sterling generator. So what we want to do is we want to just make a basic setup. And there we go. Now we want to put some coal in here. So let's just chuck some coal into there. And then we're going, see it's powering up. It's making some RF. Uh, so we want to put two other machines on either side of it, um, right there. So what we want to do is we want to config it, or want to make it so that it pushes its power. No, 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 no. Yeah, so it pushes its power into the other machines like that. And then you'll see these little symbols on it. Fantastic. Then the alloy smelter is the machine chassis. We're going to need some copper. I only think we're going to need one piece. That's it. Uh, I don't need that much smooth stone, so if you can do that. Then I can go ahead and make the machine chassis. But we're going to need some more iron to make the machine chassis. And we're going to need gold. I really needed to smelt up some of these ores. Okay, so let's just, let's just try to focus on the other parts. So we need three furnaces okay so probably want to put just a tad bit of iron in there oops oh what am i doing what am i doing okay so i should probably put that in there i'm a completely unorganized mess and my dog is barking as well doesn't help situation We're gonna need some gold so if we make two more if we make tw two more furnaces and then what is the recipe is the alloy smelter yes we need four iron ingots do we have that we have the four iron ingots my dog is barking hold on i'll sort out the recipe uh, the, my dog is annoying me a lot so i'll sort out the recipe get all the materials and then i'll come back once i have everything to make it so i'll see you in just one second all right everyone i think we have enough materials to make the alloy smelter right here so for the okay so if we first need to make the machine chassis, and in order to do that, and my game is lagging again. Come on. And now my Minecraft is threatening to go down. Fantastic. Okay, no, it's back, it's back, it's back. So we want to put uh, gold nuggets like that. We want to put the copper, like here, that m should make a basic capacitor. And then we want to take uh, some iron bars. Yeah, they're called iron bars. And then we want to go around right here, and the, there's the machine chassis. So then if we go like that, no, 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 wrong. I did this wrong, um, no I didn't, no I didn't, okay, so I'm doing it right so far, so if I then do this, and if I get my thing out and then make a cauldron, and I make there, there we go, an alloy smelter. So then this should receive power. And there we go, it is receiving power. So I'm going to get the materials for my, uh, the other machine, and then I'll end off the episode there. 
Alrighty, I have all of the resources to craft the sag mill. Now, I think the f my the last clip that I just recorded might have been corrupted. Basically, all we did was craft this alloy smelter, and both of them have a hundred thousand RF. Okay, and so what we need to do to craft this, we need to craft a piston like a so getting faster at crafting pistons then we need a, another machine chassis we need a machine chassis which is basically simple like that you need a basic capacitor and then you need iron bars and iron ingots in a formation like that then you take this basic capacitor take that put iron on the outsides three flint up top and a sag mill so now, if I place this here, and then it should be already, already be getting powered, but just to make sure, I'm going to set it so that it pulls energy out of this, uh, the generator thing. So you can see it is gradually going down to fill this up, but if you might remember at the beginning of this video, I said that this thing could double ores. Well, with both of these machines combined can double ores. This is a little, this is a nice setup here. Ooh, king slime. What? Uh, why is there a king slime? Should I be concerned? Why is it dying? Um, that is concerning. I don't know what mob does that. Is it something down here? Is it down here? I don't know what that was. Oh, basically this right here. I opened up a chance cube. It didn't kill me because otherwise there would be a death wave point there. But um, it did make this giant hole. And the reason why I thought that a sl that the king slime was down here was because just a second ago I went down here for the flint and um, I actually ran into a large slime. So. It must be a slime chunk, or did, the, or maybe the mechanics were work differently than in um the new newer version of Minecraft. I don't know. I've never played on 1.7. Uh, I st started playing Minecraft in 1.8, <laughs> only like two years ago. Okay, so this is so basically how you can duplicate ores. We need to do this on the copper because the copper is precious. Uh, if you put the copper into the sag mill. It will basically give you, come on, hurry up, it will give you, ooh, a nor and normally it only gives you uh, copper powder, it will only give you two copper powder, but I guess it got lucky then, yeah, you see, and then if you put this in here, basically it will smelt it, and for each copper powder, you get one ingot, so for each ore you get, you get two copper powder, for each copper powder you get, you get one ingot, so basically um, double it, and then you can also get additional like gold powder and stuff like that. And you see, I okay, there we go. And can I get this last powder, please? Please hurry up. I am very impatient. There we go. So I had like six copper powder, but I'm going to end up. Um, once I'm finished with all of this, with 12. So that is a very good way, a uh, much cheaper way than Tinker, than the Tinker's mod, which is in here, where you have to build that whole machine, that huge machine. And with this, you, all you need is some basic power sources and just to, to craft a few things. Obviously, this is gradually ticking down, and once it hits zero, it's going to go a lot slower. But you can, uh, like, it's easy to upgrade these sort of things. So, that is going to be it for this episode of my Minecraft modded Let's Play. I hope that you have enjoyed, and I especially hope that you'll come back for the next episode. Bye!